Good morning to one and all. This is Sandeep Sunanan. Today I am going to explain about one test scenario with Lane Up. Last week we discussed about basic project creation and object identification. So today I am going to take, take you to how to launch a Gmail app Gmail from the Gmail how we can submit username and password and click on sign button. This test scenario I am going to uh, write this test scenario using Lane Up. So we have a lean FT menu here. So here we have object identification center. This is the one way to navigate object identification center. And we have one more way. This is the object identification center. We know in QTP we have a tools like batch runner and a password encoder. Here also we have tools password encoder. If you click on password encoder, just submit your password and click on it, you will get the encoded password. Just I am uh, explaining you about the feature, but we currently we don't use this. Okay, so I am closing this one. So I'll give it back. Okay, I am closing this. So as we know, like first we should open the application. If the application is already open, then we go to object identification center. We have spy again. Let's spy on the control. Okay. Just click on control enter. We have properties, property values. For this session, I am explaining you with uh, property, property values. I mean, without export. And the next, next session, I do. Uh, next one, next session, I will, I, I will explain with export. Okay. For time being, today I am explaining about. Without export, next session I will explain you about export. So we have name, property, name, property value, email. So uh, yes, now we we created a browser instance and as well as browse navigation to browser. So we write uh, user name user name equal to browser we have to write the control under the browser so this is this is ancestor currency we have to build build a hierarchy that under the ancestor controls so under the browser we have to describe what control type it is it is i edit field okay it's edit box so because of that it's edit field and write new new edit field description we need to provide the description what kind of description it is name email okay directly we can perform action here but i don't want to do that so i want to you explain you so we have username property here so i want to highlight the username okay once it is highlighted so we have uh, created object created a control correctly okay i will debug this Timing and closing this to avoid the conflicts. Okay. Okay. We'll debug this and we'll see whether we are able to highlight the username control. If we are able to if we are able to identify the username control, just we will write the next action. I am working on remote mission because of that somewhat slow.
विलास विलास चाहिए करना है ये भी नेविगेटर डी जी में फ्रेम पी है प्रेस या फ्रेम विथ यस सी ईमेल गॉड एंड हाइलाइटर सो विल परफॉर्म दी नेक्स्ट एक्शन ऑन दैट So why I am highlighting here? So just I want you to understand. So we are able to identify our objects here. So next action is so username dot set value. Okay. S I L K. Self testing seven. Okay. So this is for username. Next, control what we have next control. So here we have to click on next button. Okay. So we will take the next button control properties. Button name next. So write the comment for better understanding what you are going to do. And uh, where next? Now we will follow the standards as well. Next we will go to browser tab. What type of control it is? Web button. Dot describe. Will describe the uh, I button. Okay. Mm -hmm. Button description. What is the name? Just provide the property property value. See name. We have next. Okay, and the next, sorry, type next. So here also we highlight the control first, then we'll perform the action for better understanding as of now. But real time scenarios no need to highlight it. So what action you you are going to perform on a button? Obviously, it is the click. Okay, click on it. Okay, just I am going to change the variable standard according to the regular code standards. Input. Okay. This is for username. This is for next button. And what's our next action? As I a sync testing seven. Click on next. We have a password. So name, password. Okay. So we need to again uh, describe the control problem properties. So 
So what I'm doing before, just I'm taking this guy because control properties are similar. What I am going to change here only variables and property names. Pass word. Okay. What is the name? P A S S seven B. P A S S seven B. We will check it. Looks like you know it's a PAS system. Okay, fine. We have username, next pattern, and password. So, what is this password? So, for time being, I'm giving wrong password. I don't want to share my password to you guys. Okay. Sorry, not after this time. We have it. So I told you right, we have a tools here, in tools we have password encoder, it is in the same kind of tools we have in QTP as well, okay. The time we have to view my new password, so click test, okay, click on generate, click on copy, okay, paste it here. This is the password. And uh, what is the next control we have? Sign in button. Okay. Close this guy. This guy is not required for us. Where is spy guy? Yeah, we have spy here. We have application. Sign in. Click on control enter to take the control properties. ID. This is a property and property value. We'll check other properties. Button type submit. Name sign in. We'll go with the name. Okay. So this is also button. So button will copy this, we will paste here and we will modify btn as a gn sign in ok, button sign in dot highlight and button sign in dot click ok and we will provide the name of the control property, control value as Sign in as I G sign in. Yeah, there is a mismatch with the in. Sign in. So now we have username, next button, password, and Sign in. Okay. This is the entire scenario. So, for time being, I am renaming the test method name also. Now close everything. Click on debug test. On top of that, we have run test also. But we are running uh, our scripted debug mode. Just we can see if we are getting any exceptions. See. Username got highlighted, entered.
the object is disabled why this object is today disabled just we have to go to it see next but username what i let it click on next to next to button this is the password just you should provide password dot hangnet and password dot okay and this is button sign why i am throwing this at i am going to throwing this exception just to avail how we go how we can get the exception okay now execute the script and see Highlighted. Click on it. Password. Click on sign up button. Anyhow, that is a wrong password. Okay, that is the reason we are getting password you entered. It did uh, don't match. Okay. This is a sample uh, test scenario with Linux using C sharp dot net. Okay. The next session, what I will do. i will try to create a data driven testing how we can log in with the n number of users into the gmail application i will and with that test scenario and i am going to explain about how to use the xpath see we have a future here you know instead of using the normal regular properties okay We have a future instead of not using normal property property values, we have the XPath and XPath value. Okay. From next session onwards, I will explain you about how you can use the XPath. Okay. Thank you very much, guys.